Hey guys, my name is Lee Tafai. I am a tutor here at Yubi College's Rotorua. Um, I currently teach the Level 5 Diploma in Animation, and I've been asked to come along and just go over a topic um, in hopes of providing some useful tips um, or useful knowledge. The topic I wanted to go over is settles or settle animation. Um, settle animation is essentially slowing down a movement in hopes of creating a convincing stop. Um, you'll notice this a lot when um, characters either running or walking and they have to stop suddenly. Um, how the animator handles that um, can either create a convincing stop or maybe not so convincing. Um, so just looking at a few examples, uh, here is uh, a line test from Disney, uh, Disney's Treasure Planet. And what I just want to showcase or what want to kind of look at is how this character, um, as they're moving around throughout the scene, um, whenever they stop, you'll notice that there are um, uh, there is a lot of minuscule movement happening just before they stop. It's that very smooth movement and then it just slowly dies down and then the character just becomes a still frame, a still image. Um, that is the settle animation. And in this instance, they, they go really in depth. So they're doing a lot of drawings, um, pretty much that are making that are making pretty much like very minimal movement, very minuscule movement. Um, but it really does help to make it um, convincing. It helps to make it more natural. Uh, looking at this next example, here is a short film from Goblins, um, and with their settle animation, they are doing the exact same thing. So they are um, decelerating movement, but just before a character stops. Um, in order to create a convincing, convincing movement. The way they do it, though, is instead of adding a lot of frames to slow down movement, like Disney, they are holding frames to slow it down. Um, this gives it a kind of a choppy look, um, which I find adds to its charm. Um, but they're both achieving the same um, result with their settles. Maybe not maybe to like different calibers, but they're both doing their uh, settle animations. If we look at one more example, um, here's a clip of two characters kind of getting ready for their fight. And you'll notice when they kind of do their power up, um, both of their arms kind of just do a big movement and then they slowly get into position. Um, once again, that's a nice, Nice use of settle animation in order to keep the poses alive. You're not just going from one pose to the next, making it look quite mechanical. With that said, um, here is uh, animation I had been working on for quite a while. Obviously, this is just a snippet, um, but here is a character um, going through the motions, and you'll notice that they go from one pose to the next very mechanically, very monotonously. Um, they don't have that, um, that very nice settle going on in the other examples. Um, and if I were to just open up this loop so that we can just see a little bit more, boop, 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 maybe around there, um, the, the issue becomes even more obvious. And I might just bring it on back and, and just highlight this part. So going from one pose to the next, the issue becomes a lot more obvious. There's no settle at all right there. So the hand just abruptly stops. It just suddenly stops. Um, kind of kind of taking away the natural uh, movement of a human you, you'd come to expect. If I were to just go forward a little bit more, maybe around here, um, you'll notice that um, in the body and in the hand, there is the exact same issues. Um, but where I've gone and put in extra effort, extra time um, in the hair um, to create a much more convincing settle animation, um, you can see that the results paid off. 
Um, I feel like the hair feels a lot more natural than just that sudden stop of the hands. Um, it has time to kind of uh, wind down, kind of flow a little bit, and then stop. So that's all we're doing with settle animations is we're giving um, our movements just time to stop, time to decelerate. With that said, I would say the takeaway from, from just me kind of covering this is being conscious of, I guess, how the body, how the body moves in um, many instances and, and being able to try, analyze that and apply it to your own work. I definitely didn't, didn't kind of search for settle animations until I saw um, this glaring issue in my work. Um, so hopefully with me going over this, I can kind of just you know, put something on your radar. Um, so while you're working, you kind of I don't know, understand if something's off, then maybe you can go off and uh, figure out how to approach it. In Disney's case, it's adding a lot more frames. Um, in Goblin's case, at least in this instance, um, they like to hold their frames in order to make a convincing settle. Um, for this, I would probably want to push overlapping and follow through just to, you know, just to make it a, li a little bit more natural. Um, this all definitely ties into slow in, slow out, as well as timing and spacing of your frames. Um, but it really just does come down to which situation you're using them in. Um, slow in and slow out, you can get that in slow motion scenes if, if something, something were to, I don't know, just go into matrix mode. Um, but settle animation, slow in, slow outs, um, I feel like you're, you're always going to be going to be using them, essentially. With that said, guys, my name is Lee Tafai. I hope that helped in some way, or at least pushed you in the direction to learn more about um, animating, animating movements. I had fun kind of going over this topic, and I thank you for listening. Cheers.